Welcome to Papa Gimmel's Gets Inspired. It is officially week two of using the Inspire sleep apnea implant. And um, I last spoke to you when I had just used it the first night and it was a very exciting night. And what I wanted to do today is kind of walk you through um, how the last week went and also show you the Inspire app and kind of how all of that works and how it gets logged. So I'll just quickly start off. So. Um, you last saw me after my first night using the sleep apnea device. That night I got just about four hours of sleep uh, and I was pretty excited uh, because as I mentioned, I my wife had reported that she didn't hear any snoring. She'd had a real tough night, actually a couple nights of trying to uh, sleep without the snoring as a soundtrack, uh, which she typically uses for that purpose because uh, she's used to waking up when I stop breathing and when it's quiet and shaking me awake. So uh, now we're onto a whole new thing where I'm not snoring, I'm really quiet, and I'm starting to sleep for between four and seven hours a night. And that's really how it's been. So, uh, you know, this is the, the trusty remote. We started, as I showed you, on, on level one. Went up uh, each Thursday, we're gonna go up a level until we find one that works. So we're up to level two, which I just went up to uh, last Thursday, uh, this past Thursday, today's Saturday. And uh, so let me show you how the app works. If you come around here, honey, I got a helper today, which I'm really excited about. So let me start over and show you how the app works. So this is for the iPhone. It's called Inspire Sleep, and it syncs with the remote. Uh, you just bring it next to it and tell it to basically uh, sync up. You go to a day that you haven't used yet. You hit upload data. It says data uploading. And as long as you're somewhere near the remote, it'll work. And so let me go back to where we started. Uh, oh, it doesn't want me to, hold on, let's back it up. So, all right, so here we'll go to Thursday the 22nd, which was the first night. And you come into this app and it will show you basically tracking every night that you use this, right? So this was the first night, 3.8 hours, not great. 63% uh, of my six hour sleep goal, which I had set up. And then it shows you every time I started the unit and turned it off over here. I was playing it with it, I think when, when we were recording and ooh, we got a little, little soundtrack in the background. Somebody's alarm. That's okay. Uh, so I think I tried to go to bed early that night and I was still kind of messing around with it. And you'll see, these are all the times I started to use it. And then eventually I actually turned it on and I paused it at 12.55 a.m. and then went back to bed. But that was the first night, so let's skip ahead. So the second night, I got 6.3 hours of sleep, hit my six hour sleep goal. And what you do after each night, you can mark it, you know, how was your sleep? You can click, were you feeling okay? Was it terrible? Was it great? And it kind of gives you up here the little up and down, thumbs down, little up and down hand motion. And then I'll show you the other one. So this is night two. Um, you'll see I'm still getting used to it. Uh, this is uh, a week ago Friday. So I started at 8, 12 p.m. And uh, I stopped it. Oh, actually, I'll show you down here. I paused it at 10.06. I must have gotten up to go to the restroom and then went back to sleep and uh, paused it again at 1.24 a.m. And then it looks like I turned it off at 1.41 a.m. Then I tried again to get back to sleep. I actually fell asleep on the couch at 2.10 a.m and stopped it again an hour later. And then you can see again, I tried a couple more times to get some sleep and, and was successful there. So it was a collective six hours. And then it shows you on the bottom, the amplitude. So this is on level one, which is 0 0.8 volts. And so we'll skip ahead. Saturday wasn't so great, but as we move forward, we get to Sunday, the 25th, 7.3 hours. So ahead of the goal, um, I started it just before 9 p.m. I had to woke up twice and paused it when I wake, woke up. So once at just past midnight, and then once at 4.12 a.m., and then I finally gave up at 4.20 a.m. But between all that time, minus that 15 minute pause, uh, I got some pretty good sleep from 9 p.m. to, to 4 a.m. And so this was uh, really exciting uh, to see this progress so quick. Um, and then what else I wanted to show you was on my uh, sleep app on the phone or even on the watch, because I've been wearing the watch when I go to sleep just to show you the quality of sleep since this app doesn't really show me that. So again, on the 26th, we had 7.7 .7 hours, 
not so great tonight on Tuesday the 27th. And I checked off that I was feeling tired, which is the uh, thumbs down. Um, and you could see that night, went to bed right before 11 p.m., woke up at 1.50, um, started it again at 2.50 a.m., woke up at 4 a.m., so not great. But as we went through the week, uh, Wednesday, we hit our six hours from 9 p.m. to about 3.30 in the morning. That's That works for me, and you'll see the two pauses. And then on Thursday is when I increased it to level two, and it went up by 0 0.1 volts to 0 0.9 volts. And that night, I went to bed right before 8 p.m., um, woke up a couple times, 9 p.m., 12 a.m., and then finally woke up the last time at 3 a.m. and turned it off. But got a collective 6.9 hours that's on level two, so that was pretty exciting. And that brings us to last night. Uh, not great. Got about five hours. Um, and I clicked off, I think I did a thumbs down and it, it gives you a, why don't I feel rested? It gives you some of those questions and I clicked, I can't stay asleep. So I, I wasn't happy with that one, but we're still working on this. We're still figuring this out. And so, uh, I'm still impressed. And what I wanted to show you too, on the, um, on the watch, we've got the sleep app, right? Which you get from Apple on the iPhone. And it gives you this really great info. So this is going to show you last night, right? It goes through the different sleep stages, uh, which is something I got a recommendation from some folks online that have been using Inspire to really see how is my sleep going. And that's why I got real excited uh, after the first night, because for the first time in a long time, as you can see here, I got, oh, I got REM. This is last night, 34 minutes in REM, 43 minutes in deep sleep, and three hours in core sleep and 46 minutes awake. So meaning kind of restless moving around or maybe getting up. Um, and then if we flip through, uh, it kind of shows you the last 14 days. So from August 18th to the 24th, uh, I wasn't really wearing this, so it's hard to tell, but we're averaging five hours. Sleep durations increased. And actually it might be better if I go to the app itself for, um, let me see here, sleep. Uh, I know where it is. It's in health. So if I go to health and I go to sleep on here, I can kind of look through the week. Uh, and so it gives me the average for the past week. So average time in bed, eight hours and six minutes. Average time of sleep, just under five hours. And you see all these different items here. It goes through and gives you the average time awake, average REM. And again, I'm excited because uh, the REM, I wasn't getting any REM. Uh, not using a, a, uh, the Inspire device and in the past uh, not using a CPAP in quite a long time because I haven't been able to use it. And then it gives you average deep sleep, 33 minutes, and that's over the past week, right? Um, let's see, comparisons. Oh, it gives you your heart rate. It gives you your respiratory rate and then average risk temperature, which I don't know what the purpose of that is. Uh, but it's definitely inspiring uh, to see if we look at last night here. Let's see, can I zoom into that one? This is the one we were talking about on the phone. Five hours, 53 minutes of sleep. And it shows you how much time I was awake. And I don't know what they're counting here because I wasn't awake, you know, these 10 different intervals. But I must have moved around in some way uh, that caused me to not be in a deeper sleep. But averaging an hour and seven minutes in REM and and really... Uh, you can zoom out and really getting the that sort of dream stuff that people talk about uh, was pretty exciting. So um, getting deep sleep, I'm getting REM sleep, and uh, you know I'm I'm getting sleep that I haven't uh, been able to achieve in a long time. So I'm really excited. Uh, it's Saturday, as I mentioned, started uh, level two of the Inspire device on Thursday, and I'll go up each interval. Uh, one interval each Thursday. My next uh, sleep appointment with the sleep doctor and the Inspire rep is, uh, let's see, so I, I think I did that up on about a week and a half ago, so it's it's about three weeks away, maybe a little less. I'm going to be going in every 30 days for the next three months for them to take a look at how I'm doing compared to the results that are in the Inspire app that the remote is tracking for me. And um, I guess maybe they fine tune it. I'll let you know what they do after that first 30 day appointment. And then after the three appointments that I booked over the next 90 days, 
the following appointment will be a sleep study. So I'm guessing at that 120 day point is when they'll schedule a sleep study to really try to figure out um, where I'm at with the AHI, the apnea hypopnea index, which I'll be very curious to find out. And um, as I've mentioned in prior videos, I was at a, just under 30 on my side when I did the sleep study almost a year ago, October, 2023 at 29.6. And on my back, I was at a 48 uh, point something. Uh, and 30 is what's considered severe. So I was borderline severe on my side, very severe sleeping on my back, which I do a lot of. So I'm really looking forward to those sleep study results and I'll share those with you when we get to that point. Um, but that's it for me right now. And, and thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, and uh, I'll be back in about a week with another video, let you know how things have progressed on level two. And as we get into level three this coming Thursday. Thanks again. Have a good one.